Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. It is Emmy. Today I'm going to be talking about how to set up a strength training workout. So this is if you're a beginner, you don't know where to start, I'm here to help you. So the first thing is you should figure out your goals if you want to be working out for pure strength, if you want to build some muscle and have some muscle size for like aesthetic purposes or you want to mix of both, or you just want some like health reasons, just for functional training and everything like that. Figure out what you want and that is where you should start. And I will say you should pick a goal that is reasonable, something that will always you'll always stick with and will be your motivation to be disciplined with reaching your goal. So let's say you are more strength focused, you can build muscle size being strength focused especially if you're a beginner but let's just say you're solely strength focused you want to aim for lower reps in like the two to six rep range for each set so let's say you do three sets of squats you're going to do three sets of either two or four or six reps just that rep range in general and you want to be loading on the weight for that so going heavy and really pushing yourself because you are in a lower rep range. And if you want to build muscle size, just have like looking like you're nice and lean and stuff like that, then you want to be in a higher rep range for hypertrophy, which is building up your muscle size. So you'll be in like the eight to 12 rep range, sometimes a little bit more, and you will be at a lighter load. So a lighter weight because you are going a lot more reps. So you have to drop the weight a little bit for that. Or you could do a mix of both in your training, like go heavy on squats, go lighter on like hamstring curls. Just figure out a rep range. I will say for beginners, it's probably good to start at like eight to 10 to 12 reps per exercise just because you are a beginner and you'll see results probably no matter what and if you're a beginner you should focus on form over anything so even if you are going for strength training so you're at a lower rep range with heavier weight if your form is being compromised with that heavy weight drop the weight and focus on the form first and so starting each workout you want to do a warm-up you want to do an active dynamic type warm-up so let's say I'm doing a leg day and my first exercise is squats I'm gonna want to be doing like body weight squats leg swings stuff like that that are actually helping me warm up for that specific movement. I don't wanna just be doing random stretches that have nothing to do with the workout that I'm actually doing that day. And you wanna do active and dynamic warmups to get the blood flowing, your body warm, and so we will prevent injury. You don't wanna be doing static stretching, which is holding the stretch for a very long time, well, only like 30 seconds or more. You don't want to be doing that because that can actually lead to some injuries. You want to save that till the end of your workout. So when structuring your workout, what you want to do is place your heaviest movement first. This will be your compound movement. So you want to do this because you want to have all your energy towards that specific movement. If you wait to do that movement at the end, you're not going to have enough energy to actually lift the weight that you want to lift and should be lifting for that. In compound movements, take a lot of effort for just all your joints in your body and so you really should be doing those first to prevent injury as well so for a leg day that might be your squat it might be your deadlift it might be hip thrust just movements that are loaded heavy and just like bigger movements that involve more muscles and more joints and if you're doing an upper body day that may look like a barbell bent over row that may be like a chest press a bench press or an overhead press just those bigger movements that require more effort and personally for those main movements i like to complete four sets of those exercises so then after you complete your main movements do like one to two compound movements and then move into your accessories so for leg days that might be like lunges calf raises hamstring curls leg extension just those accessories that are more so focused on one thing and one muscle and for your upper body that may look like bicep curls tricep extensions or pull downs rear delt flies 
stuff like that so for these exercises i usually like to do three sets of them sometimes two if i'm doing a high rep range and you may be wondering how many of these should you do it kind of depends you do not want to like overload your workouts with tons of exercises because that will just do you more harm than good so i would say a rule you should follow is aiming between four to eight exercises don't go over eight exercises because then that's just a lot of junk volume meaning you're just doing a lot of extra work and you won't see any results or payback from that and it will just hinder your growth altogether i've done leg workouts where i've only done four exercises and as long as you're pushing yourself in those four exercises it's going to be a great workout and you'll see more progress from that than doing an eight exercise leg day where you can't put enough effort into those last few exercises and you're just kind of worn out. And I will say, make sure you're resting in between each set, each exercise enough time. You should be resting long enough so that you're fully recovered, your nerves are recovered, your muscles are recovered. Everything's all good to go full out in your next set. So make sure you're resting long enough. I at least rest a minute at least. Sometimes I need more for like squats and hip thrusts. Don't be afraid to sit there and just wait until you're fully ready to begin your next set. And if you need any help with this, I am an online fitness coach. So just go to the link in my description to my website and see if I can help you. But yeah, that is the end of the video. I hope you found this helpful and insightful and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.